Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. <laughs> hey, man, listen. Hey, man. Hey. The Biden campaign is at it again, man. This time, before I get into that, man, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to be notified. You know, if you want to donate the link to the Cash App, PayPal is in the description. Thank y'all for all y'all donations. Make sure y'all hit that like button. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. You know what it is, man. Hey, listen. <sighs> How do I start this video? I am... I am disgusted, but it's funny, but I'm kind of disgusted, but it's funny, but it's weird because I'm kind of happy for them at the same time. First of all, let me just start by saying how happy I am. So I met Charlie Clips one time and I met DNA one time, but it was like, it wasn't like I met them like, oh, hey, uh, shook their hand. Yo, what's up with you, bro? My name is such and such. No, it was like, what's going on, bro? What's going on? So it wasn't really like I met him. I just acknowledged who I knew who they were. And, you know, they acknowledged, I guess, you know, they just acknowledged that I was just a battle rapper, but they didn't really know who I was. <clears throat> anyway, so these dudes do a video battle video promotional video for joe biden now before i get into that i want to talk about them real quick dna easily is one of the top 20 battle rappers of all time easily charlie clips easily is one of the top 10 battle rappers of all time <clears throat> now you can make an argument that dna is could be top he could be top uh top 10 too you can make an argument so he because he's good these dudes are extremely good battle rappers they're not just okay battle rappers these dudes are legends they're they're a part of the goat squad as i call them they're in that class they're solidified they have too many epic battles too many classic battles DNA, I think, is one of the greatest freestylers of all time that's in battle rap and hip hop. So it doesn't even matter either way. Charlie Clips is another freestyle monster. He's one of the top freestylers of all time. I've seen Charlie Clips actually freestyle three rounds straight and he still killed it. So these dudes are, they are the elites in battle rap. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're the top dudes that you would go to. Like, the dudes been on every stage. URL, KOTD. Uh, they've been on uh, RBE. Even little stages they've been on. Like, they, I think, I think what's the name was on the, I think what's the name was on the gates. I'm not sure. But the Dre and them has something to do with it. Anyway. Uh, but these dudes are phenomenal. With that being said, they did a battle rap slash promotional video for Joe Biden. Now, before I say anything about that, I just want to say that when it comes to politics, it looks weird when a, a, a candidate who is known for making gaps or making or saying things that is inappropriate about black people to use black people in, uh, in an ad. So when I seen this ad, I, I went into it with the mind state of they're being used. You know what I'm saying? I didn't go into it with the mind state of, okay, yeah, uh, I'm a battle rap fan. And I guess I can get these young people to vote for them. For, um, um, they're going to get young people to vote for them. First of all, Charlie Clips and, um, and DNA is, is known in battle rap, but they're not really known in hip hop. Maybe Charlie Clips is because he's been on Wild and Out. But for the most part, they're not mega celebrities like 
you know, I, I would say maybe he is trying to capture the uh, smaller vote or whatever of these of the battle rap community. But I just don't see how they were being used to do that when if he was trying to get the youth to, to vote, maybe he could have got, you know, a couple of bigger names that was that were had to do. But I understand why they did it, because it's a unique take on battle rap um, and politics. And I think that that was a unique take on it because it bad that uh, Joe Biden and Trump is battling. So maybe that's what it was to me. Um, I think that it would have been better if to me, I think it would have been better if. Uh, if what's name would have said that. He was voting for Trump, one of them say he was voting for Trump and. He convinced them not to vote for Trump because of this. Maybe he was misinformed or like, oh, yeah, well, the reason why I'm voting for Trump, because he does this. And, and he came out and said, nah, the reason why you shouldn't vote for him, because he did this and he did this. But it was more like the same rhetoric that we see. Biden is OK, but Trump is worse. I don't like Trump, so let's vote for Biden. That's what I took from that video. They didn't really have, uh, he said a bunch of things in that video. Uh, DNA said a bunch of things in that video was more on the lines of just really vote because a lot of stuff he said wasn't accurate at all. It was like, okay, that's way off and that's wrong. That's wrong. He had a couple of things in there I thought was like semi right, but most of the stuff he said was just flat out wrong, you know? Uh, so getting into the, uh, the, the video part of it, I would say the campaign. Now, another issue that I had with it is the fact that Joe Biden is using two black men to be a uh, kind of basically, and I ain't gonna say Joe Biden, I'm gonna say his campaign is using two black men to exploit what we do now. I hate the fact that, I hate the fact that people who voting for Trump are being alienated, especially black people. You do know, and I'm going to say this, y'all do know that there's a lot of black people who support Donald Trump. Whether y'all like it or not, maybe you and a couple of your friends are probably the only ones that don't. I'm starting to see that now. I'm starting to see a good majority of black people support um, Donald Trump. A good majority of black people don't like Joe Biden and don't support Joe Biden. But you would never know because the way it's portrayed. And when you see videos like this, it just reassures you that the media and the uh, social media sphere or whatever you want to call it, it's just pushing this narrative that black people don't like Donald Trump. And that's not true. There are a lot of black people who like Donald Trump. There are a lot of Latinos who like Donald Trump. There are a lot of Asians who like Donald Trump. But, but the way they promote in it is if people have this big thing. Now, don't get me wrong. You have some people who don't like Donald Trump or hate Donald Trump. That's just the bottom line. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, they don't even want to hear what you got to say about Donald Trump. You can explain that they don't want to hear it. Like, I don't know. No, I don't care. So what? I don't care. So what? So I don't care. That's how they that's how they are. So when I seen this video, I was more like I was shocked that they would actually do something like this, even though I commend them for doing it because that's a big look for them. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of people who don't even know who they are, who don't even know what battle rap is. So that's a big look. But I was kind of more in the lines of like, you guys got to come with a little bit more facts. You can't just come with just because this, like, if you, if you say, if you want to do a battle rap, you just saying how you feel, that's cool. But you, you guys making accusations and slander and all this stuff. And y'all really don't have any evidence. It's like, y'all not even proving it. And that's what kind of bothered me about it. It wasn't the fact that the, the commercial, you know, they were being used. It was just the fact that they didn't know what the hell they were talking about. And it's like, it's like, if you don't really know politics, that's why I stayed out of it for so long until I started learning about it. Then I realized that I didn't really know as much as I thought I did until I started really learning. And I said, okay. And I'm not the sharpest knife in the book when it comes to everything. I don't know everything about politics, but I know enough 
to know that a lot of stuff they were saying was straight up garbage. And I'm like, this is garbage. Like, what are you talking about? So again, everybody has the opinions. You're entitled to your opinions, but you're not entitled to spread un, un, um, spread these claims that are not facts. You're not entitled to skewing facts. I'm going to put it to you like that. You know what I mean? Or, or you're not entitled to your own facts. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. It might sound good, but it's not. So I think that this was something good on for them, but I think it's ultimately going to be a bad look on the Biden campaign. I'm going to be honest with you. I think Biden's going to get killed out there. Not killed as in, you know, killed, but like, I think he's going to get smoked. I think that Trump is going to probably win every state. People probably look at me all crazy. Why? Why? Why do you think that? The poll said this. I just don't see it. <clears throat> I see Biden campaign. If, if if unless everybody's voting online, unless everybody's voting, but just the just how many people Trump has at his rallies alone. Like people are lining up. When Joe Biden comes into town, I, eight people when trump comes into town 30,000 40,000 like it's just not a comparison he's gonna get killed out there man like <clears throat> on election day everybody that is so scared to go vote because of this uh this virus everybody that's trump uh that's voting for trump they're gonna go over vote so it is what it is i say i would say this I congratulate Charlie Clips and DNA for that. That's a great look for them. And I think that that's something they could put on their resume. That's a great look for them. I, I applaud them. I applaud them for doing it. You know, I'm not going to sit here and say that that wasn't a great look. I just think that they were misinformed or they were spreading a bunch of stuff that wasn't good. Uh, but it's a good look for them. So congratulations to them brothers, man, for doing that. I think that... Uh, I think that would have really shocked everybody is if they would have had did an ad for Trump. And I think that that right there would have made them much bigger than what they were. You know what I'm saying? Now, again, maybe they don't believe in that. Maybe they did it out the kindness of their heart. Maybe they believe that they don't really like Trump. Maybe that's what it is. But everybody do everything. Most people do things for their self self-interest. So. All right, man. Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. Congratulations, Charlie Clips and uh, DNA. Congratulations.